let's look at how to create a new shapefile layer in QGIS. I've started with a blank project, then I added the OpenStreetMap layer from the XYZ tile section in the browser. Now I'm going to click the button for new shapefile layer. Be careful here because it looks quite like the button for new virtual layer. Here we want the new shapefile layer, so I'll click it. I'll click on the browse button to choose where to save this to and I'll give it a name and hit save. The geometry type is going to be polygon but as you can see you could do points, multi points and line strings. If you know which coordinate reference system you want to use then you can click the little button. I have already searched in the filter box for the one I want so it appears here. I'm using Ohio State Plain South and I click OK. I want to add a new column that will appear in my new layer and it's called area. So I'm going to add that to the fields list. This will appear as a new column in my attribute table once I'm done. Then I click OK. The new layer appears but it's empty so we add a shape to it by toggling editing on and then by adding polygon features. And from here, it's just a case of clicking around the area you want to digitize. If you make a mistake, press the backspace button and that will delete the previous vertex. Press escape if you want to start again. I'll pause the video and I'll draw around the interstate here. So I've com almost completed my shape and when I'm ready to finish digitizing, it's not a double click, it's a right click. And then in the area, I'll call this Columbus and click OK. There's my shape. I'll turn editing off. I'll save it. And if I open the attribute table, we can see there's an area column. It says Columbus in it, and we've got a very simple shape. So that's a basic intro to creating shape files.